All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So, do you remember the time I played Moon Base, which was M O O N Base, a while ago? It's this really fun crafting game where it's just you survive on the moon. You need to explore. You need to harvest resources. You need to build a base. You need to thrive. So. It's made by Steve Ford, as you can see right down here. And it was renamed recently and updated with a lot more playable options, like in stuff to do, resources to get, things to build. And we're gonna play it. So it, it seems like we're a cat who made it to space. Let's go ahead and start. Now I had an old save to just kind of warm up. And I'm, I'm gonna go in endless mode right here. So normally you have a seven day mission, right? And now we're just gonna do day one. So we've got two things of food. Let's go ahead and harvest some resources. You can see some ice down below. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick close. We have no, there's no map function at all. All right, so I'm gonna need a shovel to get those things. Let's go ahead and grab these bits of metal. It might be advantageous. Okay, good, there, there are some plants. So I just gotta remember all I need to do is go up. Now if you look very closely, you'll have footprints on the Martian landscape, but they only last a short while and then they'll disappear. So navigating in this game is one of the things you really have to focus on. And so that's why I generally try to go resource hunting in a straight line, as straight as possible anyway, because then it's much easier to realize, oh, well to get back to the base where I can survive, because I'm gonna need to refill on oxygen um, and craft everything because I don't have a, a spare crafting bench on me. I'm looking for like one or two more plants. Oh, perfect. That was actually like ideally timed. I was like, I would like two plants and two plants were summoned for me. So what we've got to do is build a shovel and then a smeltery, which is a new thing from the last. Okay, actually, you know what? I've got just enough for two more food. Our health, we're healthy, we're about 50% oxygen, that looks like a wall of rock, so you can't go in diagonally, unfortunately. So we just gotta know, we gotta go straight up, there's a lot of rocks going on here. But we should be approaching the base relatively shortly. Right? Am I already lost? Oh God, thank goodness. Okay, so then to get more oxygen, all we gotta do is go into the space. You can see it's a nice little three modular habitat here. We've got oxygen production, we've got a solar panel. Every now and then I'll have to um, repair, or rather clean that solar panel. So what we need first is a shovel, and then I'm going to produce two food. And uh, then we should be pretty good. We are hungry again, so let's go ahead and eat food. It's, it's a very classic resource management game, but there's nice elements of like exploration and building in it as well. So, okay, we've got two. I think we need four to produce the schmeltery. Now, something interesting about the schmeltery, it took me a little bit, like literally a few minutes to figure it out. All right, we're gonna go down again. I, d I don't remember seeing very many small rocks. Small, what else floats? Churches. Gravy, a duck. That's your ADD Monty Python moment. Can I can I harvest these? Ooh, we can. What is what resource is this? Yeah, we're gonna harvest all the resources we can on this little run. It should be nighttime soon. We gotta remember to go back up and kind of let's harvest this rock. Yeah, we should be able to build a schmeltery, and then we're gonna need to build a storage unit because we already have a lot. Yeah, I actually don't want this many resources on me. All right, so a few more resources, always always greedy. Yeah, we've got 12 of those. We just need to build a smeltery ASAP. And um, we're gonna refill our oxygen first because we're gonna repurpose our solar panel. There we go, there's our habitat. So oxygen. And you can see that we absorb the oxygen in the base and we're also refilling it. it. Takes a little bit of time. And now what we're gonna do is go build this, the schmeltery, which required four of those rocks. It took me a little bit to figure that out because that's new from the last update as well. So you can see we've got this. I wanna put it like here. Actually, I wanna put it next to this guy. Yeah, we're gonna put it. How come I can't put it there? 
Let's put him here. Now it's nighttime, so I'm not going to be able to produce power anyway. But once I can hook this bad boy up to power, so I guess while it's nighttime, I'm going to do a little bit of an adventuring north. And I'm going to look for plants specifically. Because I want to produce food. Because we're already hungry, you can see. So let's just consume a little bit of that. Ooh, that was a nice amount. So we've got eight. I need it in increments of three. Because three plants equals one production of food. Wow, that was a really good plant. All right, let's turn on our light here. Oh. Did they, did it just change color? Is there like a sandstorm or something? Looking for plants, still going in my straight line. Didn't find any. We need one, so we're gonna deviate a little bit this way and then go down. Okay, so we made it to day two. It was an auto save, which is nice. But the thing about that is if I die, it'll go to that auto save. And if I forget where I was at that time, I'll have no idea how to get back. So you really can only die. Or you really can't die. You gotta stay alive. All right, 14. We're still one shy. Because we were at 11, and then all of a sudden we went to 13. Regardless, so let's pick up the solar panel. And let's... Let's go ahead and put it here. Then we can get on the schmeltery here. Oh, wait. I only have, what, one of these? How do I only have one of those? Oh, damn. We got the wrong thing. Okay. All right, well, we need to harvest that material, which there's an abundance of it right here. We're going to make those plates. We're going to make the shit we need, which is the scientific term for resources when you're on Mars, is shit. We must acquire the shit. Well, the shit. Oh, look at that. There's, there's so much of it. I guess I just wasn't harvesting it at all. Now, at this point, oh my god, my oxygen's desperately low. We gotta make it a beeline back. Wow, I was not paying attention to that. You can produce little, oh god. Oh no. This is, this is, this is gonna be interesting, guys. All right, so while that's going, hopefully there's some oxygen in the base. Refilled me a little bit, and then this thing will power up and then I'll be fine. But so the first thing we need to do is build another solar panel. That way we can get both of these running at the same time. I don't know. I don't know how to stop the production of that. I guess we could have. Either way, I'm going to have to move one thing or the other. All right, so let's get back over here. Grab the on solar panel. And we already have a lot of resources. So let's go ahead and build, make lots of food. And then right here, I'm going to build a few more steel plates. Oh, wow. Look at all that food. We are hungry. One of the things is... Here, let's see. Controls. Drop item Q. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop these plants over here. Q, Q. There we go. We dropped the plants. We can pick them up at any time now. That's perfect. All right, so yeah, let's get a few more plates going. Do I have any more of that junk? I should. Oh, there we go. All I have to do is press craft. Okay, so at this point, what do we need? We need a storage bin. Let's craft one of those. Oh, shit, we need solar panels. More than that. We need two plates for that, which we're going to be able to get. Now let's produce the solar panel to have this... So our habitat is powered this whole time. I think we're doing pretty good, all things considered. Let's put that bad boy right here. Will that power it up? It should. It's connected. Oh, look at this. We've got our storage thing. Oh, let's put it here. I'm not sure why I couldn't put it elsewhere. But now we have a storage unit. So now we can go ahead and pick up these plants again. Did we just, do we harvest on the, on Mars? We'll get our oxygen. You can check the power usage here when you check the uh, solar panel. I'm gonna go ahead and get a few more of these going. 
And then, yeah, let's check this out. Oh, generation nine, but it uses 10? That's not good at all. It gens five. All right, what do we what do we need to craft? How do we make a drill? We need one of these, right? Let's do that because then we can get bigger rocks. Crafting a giant drill. All right, can I? I wish I could. All right, let's see how this works. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's actually an animation for the drill. Oh, we found uranium. Yes. Okay. I had no idea that the big rocks produced uranium. I was wondering where we find uranium because that's one of the things that when you look at the smeltery very closely, it's a resource that it can use or it can be powered by uranium. Wow, we're getting a lot of rocks. We want more uranium. Oxygen's good. We are kind of a little hungry. Let's go ahead and do that and get back to drilling. Come on, more uranium. All right, there's one uranium. We've got three uranium here. Wonder how long uranium lasts for. But this drill, man, really opens up a wide range of resources now. We've got a crap ton of just like giant rock. Solar panel needs cleaning. Another piece of uranium. It doesn't speed up the the harvesting of other materials though, unfortunately. Okay, oxygen's low enough. Plus, we have to clean off a solar panel, so after this rock, we're going straight up back to the base where we are surviving Mars. I feel like the goal here is to, to build a rover relatively soon. Okay, this one needs that. All right. All right, put that away, boy. How do I... Why can't I get in the smeltery again? What? See that? I just click. Oh man, is it glitched out? That'd be really bad. If it was glitched out. Alright, let's see. What do we want to store? Let's store the plants and the ice. Solar panel needs cleaning. We're not refilling our oxygen because this thing needs to be cleaned. Okay, there we go. Ooh, nuclear fuel requires three whatever this wait i thought this was new radioactive ore okay well let's produce it now i'm not entirely sure what that does used for generating power are we making a nuclear reactor would that be a better way to do it than um say solar energy all right let's go ahead and refill oxygen just before it goes nighttime Eventually, you can connect bases with, like, all this network of stuff. Like, I'll show you, like, these, you know, conduits. Okay, an RTG generates power through radioactive decay. We need two of these and two circuits. So we need a lot of steel plates. Let's go get that. A lot of steel plates and a lot of, and, like, two more uranium. And then we can get a nuclear facility. Ah, nothing. All right, I guess I need a shovel. Come on. Where's the nuclear reactor? Where's the radioactive ore? That's what we're looking for. All right, so it's nighttime. The oxygen is low. There is six oxygen in the base, so we're just going to get that. And then we're going to wait out the night. Uh, we are... Oh, my God, we're starving. Holy shit, I didn't even see that. You can die from... We're, our health is slightly wounded. I think that's because we were so hungry. We may have literally been eating our own stomach. So at this point, what do we need to craft? To build a nuclear reactor, we need two circuits. So let's build... Well, first, oxygen is low, you can see. I'm going to craft one of those, and once once the power gets back on, which it's almost daytime, look at how low the oxygen meter is in the upper left. All right, here we go. Let's refill our oxygen. This thing should be powered momentarily, and it is. All right, do we want to store anything over here? Maybe all these rocks? I mean, I don't, I don't think I have a need for them right now. 
All right, so we got our nuclear material. Now, what do we need to make a few more of these, probably? Let's see, what do we need for it? I need another circuit. Oh, that means I need three of these. Oh, wow, that produced a lot of wire. Perfect. We should be very close to the production of it. How many, how many do we need? Oh, we can make it. Generates power through radioactive decay. Brilliant. Now, I wonder if we need to feed it. Let's see. We're going to put this... I'm going to put it up top here. Wait, why can't I... Okay. All right, now we just got to move off it, and we'll start building it. Ooh, it generates power. I don't, I don't have to feed it. Okay, so then this whole facility should be doing pretty good. We're generating 15. Now, how do we want to do that? I kind of want... I kind of want this... Well, no, I, I think oxygen needs to be preserved. So it's. I think it's a little bit better, more reliable of a source. What else can we build? We can build lights. There's all kinds of stuff we can build. If you'd like to see more, let me know. Make sure to pull the trigger on that like button if you'd like to see more of Mune Base. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the double uploads every day. Um, managing two channels is like three videos a day between the two channels. It's been it's been some work, but I, I can tell you guys are enjoying it. So it's definitely worth the effort. Solar panel needs cleaning. Look at this. Mars waits for nobody, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. We are out. Look at how cute this guy is with his big power drill. It's a, this is a great game. This is a really cool game. I'm enjoying it. I'd like to fight aliens. I think that'd be cool. What does this game need to kind of take it to the next level? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.